Hello, victim. Are you struggling with Ortega on 2x2? Are you averaging like 5 seconds with Ortega on... Sorry. Are you averaging 5 seconds on 2x2 two two with Ortega or like 4 seconds and you can't get any faster? You're going the fastest you can. You're almost completely one looking to solve. You're just going so fast and you just can't get better. Like Drum God, kind of. He was averaging 3.5. Um, and, you know... So, let me close this. Sorry. So, I'm going to teach you this amazing method, CLL. This method is only two steps if you include the AUF three. So, I mean, Ortega's three if you include the AUF four. So, this is going to definitely improve your time. It's not that hard to one look once you do, like, a couple months of practicing. No, it's a couple months is not as much as you think. Um, you can easily, easily be sub three. Um, so I'm going to teach you these algorithms. So you can go to Anthony Brooks, Road to Sub 3, and this is probably where you want to learn CLL. I'm just going to teach you the algorithms. Um, and I'll give you an explanation on the method itself and how it works and why it's so fast. So here's how it works. You mix up your cube, of course, and then... Um, you solve a layer. So, let's say I want to do red. Okay, I do that layer. And look, what I can do is, I can just do one, well, this is not a very good case, but I can do one algorithm. That's kind of obvious, you probably know that one. But let's say we get something like um, this. Okay, you're going to do like R2, U2, R2, U2, R2. In a way, you have a diagonal, no one likes that. But, with the advanced method, you can do one, or CLL, you can just do one algorithm, PLL skip every time, just AOF, U, U2, or U prime. So, uh, why is it so fast? Because you can one look at a lot of times. And, yeah. Um, also, you can learn anti-CLO, so you can do this easily with diagonal swaps. But that is going to be in the last part where I teach you anti-CLO. And that'll just be like tips for getting faster with this. That'll be the last part where I teach you tips. So this part, I'm going to teach you a lot of cases. Next part, I'll teach you more cases and so on until I get them all. Oh, my voice hurts. Okay. Anyway. So, we're going to teach you the... Well, first I'm going to teach you the names of each case. This is the OLL called the H. The algorithm you probably use is like something like that. Okay, um, that won't always get you a PLL skip. Um, we got Bruno. Finally, I remembered the name of this. Bruno. Um, we got Soon. Got Anti-Soon. We got, um, Peanut. I don't know. Peanut. I might call it different things throughout this. Peanut. We got oh, a chameleon. So that's that's six. There's one more. Um, this one's T case. T. So in this video, I'm gonna try to teach you H and Bruno. I might not be able to get all of Bruno though, because H there are only four cases. Everything else there is six. So. Let's try to teach you the four H's and hopefully some Brudos. And possibly all Brudos. Ten cases, six minutes. Alright, let's go. No, I'm not. I'm just going to teach the H cases. That's it. Um. Oh, wait, no. We got 15, 15 minutes. I'll teach you uh, both. Both. Two. Uh, six cases. Uh, ten cases. Sorry. Six and four. So this is the four H cases. This one's probably you already know. Um. Now, I'm going to teach you how to recognize each case. So, for H's, here's how you recognize. You got headlights. So, you're either going to have, like, these lines, or you're just going to, you're going to have these lines going here, here. They're going to be opposite. So, blue and green, red and orange, or black and yellow, or white and yellow. Um, it's going to be here or here. If you have those, then you hold headlights in front, headlights in back, but... If they're in front, they're automatically in the back, so you don't have to worry about the back. Um, now, if you have something weirder, kind of like 
this. If you have something like this where you don't have opposite lines, you just have like one line and then two opposites, or just one line, then you want to hold them on the sides. Yeah. So that's how you recognize them. So the first case, you have two lines, opposite, um, two in front, two in back. Easy. R2. You don't have to use my finger tricks. This is just my finger tricks. R2. Wait. Hold on. I got to sneeze. Sorry. Um, if they're vertical, okay, if they're horizontal, it's a different case. If they're vertical when you got it in front and back, you R2, U2, R prime, U2, R2. Once again, R2, U2, R prime. Then the backwards of that, U2, R2. Then AUF, which in that case was U2. So you can have U, U2, or U prime, so it doesn't matter. Next, we're going to teach you horizontals. So when you have the horizontals, um, like when they're in front and back, and it's horizontal, you do F. Now, if you know what sexy move is, just do that three times, but I'll just show you the whole algorithm. R, U, R prime, U prime. Again, R, U, R prime, U prime. Again, R, U, R prime, U prime. And one last move, F prime. So F, sexy move three times, F prime. It can be really fast. F, R, U. R prime, U prime. R, U. R prime, U prime. R, U. R prime, U prime, F prime. Sorry, it's falling asleep there. <sighs> Seems like such a long algorithm, but really simple. Um, no harder than, you know, fra rough, if you know what that is. So, uh, let's do another case. I don't twisting corners. <laughs> so, here, we don't have two opposite lines. So you hold them on the left and right. Now you're gonna either have this. Um, this case is when the bar is vertical, so it's standing. So when it's vertical, it's either gonna be the left or right. Now you're probably gonna have them at first here, and then you're gonna realize, okay, so let's turn them so they're horizontal. You don't want to do that. You want to automatically turn it so that you'll be ready to do this case. So you hold this up vertical, 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 vertical. Line, yeah. So this algorithm is really similar to soon. R U R prime U R U. Nope, not U two. Just do U L prime. Then you can finish it. So it's a U two. So it will look like this. U, but before you finish the two, you put the L prime, and then you finish the two. R prime. So it's kind of soon with an L prime stuck in the middle. And then this is kind of intuitive, U prime L. So the algorithm R U R prime U. R U L prime U R prime U prime L. Yep. Uh, very very quick algorithm. So um it's two by two CLL. Oh I know, one more, sorry. Um uh, so uh, I'm going to do that. And. Oh, great. Sorry, sometimes it takes a while to get to a case. Okay, here. So this one, so you're probably going to be holding it like this. And then you're like, wait, we don't have the lines. So you want to automatically put this. You see, this is the horizontal one when you have it like here. You don't want to put it in the front. You want to put it in the back. Okay? Because if you put it in the front, then you have to do like a U2 or Y2. Dumb people do Y2, smart people do U2. And then, yeah, so you just want to do a quick little U, have it in the back naturally. Then, this case is actually really easy also. It's similar to Fra Raf, uh, and similar to the, how the last case worked. You know, F, R, U, R prime, U prime. Now, before you do the F prime, just like soon, before you do the U2, you're just going to do another algorithm, another uh, move in between. So you're going to do R, and then do the F prime. Then you do sex move, then you do R prime. So the algorithm turns, and then AUF. Then the algorithm turns out to be F, R, U. R prime, U prime, R, F prime, R, U, R prime, U prime. Wait, what? F, R, U, R prime, U prime. Sorry. 
F R U R prime U prime R F prime R U R prime U prime R prime. Okay, that sounds better. So almost for a rough, and then before you do it, you do R, then F prime, then sexy move, then R prime. So it can turn out to be like really fast. One of my favorite of the H cases. Um, my second favorite H. Well, I don't know. They're all actually really fast. H is one of the cases where all of them are not hated by me. So anyway, those are the eight cases, so stay tuned for the next tutorial where I teach you the Brunos. Bye.